What's the best type of chart for a DCA bot? DCA is all about taking advantage of trends. A trend would be anything that's moving up diagonally or down diagonally. You can take advantage of both bullish trends and bearish trends. Real quick, you've heard a lot about bull and bear markets if you've been in crypto or even in trading for any amount of time. These words, these terms go back a long time. And here's an easy way to remember it. Bulls have horns that stick up. And when you see bulls fighting other bulls, they're bucking up. So that's where we get the term bullish. Bullish is a lot of energy, a lot of ferocious energy from a bull, and they just keep bucking up higher and higher with their horns poking up higher. Whereas a bear, a bear does have some fierce jaws, but it also has really strong paws. And usually what a bear does is it swipes down. And bears, when they're really getting into it, they're not going to be doing uppercuts. They're not in Street Fighter 2, unfortunately. Although Zangief is a pretty convincing bear. So you're going to be seeing bears swiping down, swiping down, swiping down. And they're really angry about it, right? So when we're talking about bearish conditions, that means there's a lot of hacking and slashing to the downside. Whereas bullish conditions, bulls are poking up to the upside. There are three things that I look for whenever I'm looking for a great chart for my DCA bots. The first thing I'm looking for is a slow or gradual trend. Now, if I'm looking at a long bot, and again, long bots are bullish, I'm hoping to buy low and sell high. So I'm wanting to find a slow uptrend. I don't want to trade anything that's going up real fast and going down real fast, up real fast, down real fast, or any charts with pumps and pops and things like that mainly because those charts are too volatile for my bots and I don't want to get stuck buying at the top automatically. That would be very frustrating and it would take a little bit of time to exit out of those bot deals. Can you tell it's happened to me a couple of times before? It has. So one of the best charts to find are just charts that are slowly trending up or slowly trending down if you're running a short bot. The second thing I look for are charts that have a very predictable or repetitive oscillating pattern. Now, oscillating sounds like it's a big word, but essentially all it means is that it's going up and down in a regular fashion. For any of you that have studied music or physics, a sine wave is essentially a smooth pattern that's going up and down to the top and to the bottom of the range, whatever it may be. Now, we're not going to find anything near that symmetrical and beautiful in crypto, but we will find charts that will be moving up and down and up and down. Now, one quick point. If you're looking for an oscillating chart, make sure that it's oscillating on an uptrend. This is actually very common to find in crypto, especially when the markets are starting to turn bullish or starting to turn bearish. There's gonna be a lot of indecision where the price is gonna be bullish for a little bit and bearish, bullish and bearish, but slightly more, slightly more, slightly more until it goes up higher and higher. And it would be the inverse for a bearish chart. So it's great to find charts that are moving on a smooth downtrend, but you're going to be hard pressed to find a chart that literally just goes in a straight line. Most charts will gradually go up, but you want to be careful. You'll want to take time to measure the oscillation or the waves that happen, because that will tell you how much space or how much price deviation you need for your safety trades. I'm getting ahead of myself a little bit, but essentially what you need to do is that concept I told you about before, negative price action. You want to account for that. So you want to measure that amount of space. And that will tell you in the bot assistant window when you're making your advanced DCA bot, how big that should be. We'll get to that later. The last thing I look for is a chart with a consistent history. And when I say consistent history, I mean a chart that Maybe it did move up real fast and then it starts to come down, but it goes right back up to where it was and then it kind of falls and it goes right back up to where it was. Sometimes this happens over the span of a couple days. Sometimes it takes a couple of months, but I really want to find charts that have a consistent history a rep or a history rather of these repetitive pumps and moves up almost like it's drawing these nice W's. The reason why is because if you can find a chart that has a consistent history, nine times out of 10, those charts should return back to that range from which it previously dropped. You want to avoid charts that have just these one-off big pumps and then fall down, or charts that just continue to fall down, unless you're running a short bot, of course. 
but you really want to find a chart that has a consistent history where it keeps bounding and bounding back to that point where it was. One note to make about this, when you're looking to trade against Bitcoin or Ethereum, be really careful because when Bitcoin or Ethereum are bullish, that means that trading against those pairs means that the charts could start to sag and bleed red. The reason is because the value of whatever you're trading against Bitcoin with won't likely be able to keep up in value as Bitcoin is moving up in value. Therefore, that chart is going to reflect a negative move down. Or again, we're assuming that we're talking about long bots here. So the point I'm making is simple. When you're looking for consistent history, just be mindful of the time period. When did it start to pump? Try to find these common timeframes. What was happening with Bitcoin at this time? How is this chart connected or related to Bitcoin's price action and things like that before you press the start button?